What's good, y'all? It's the answer back with y'all. We got an update on that YSL bail hearing, whether Thug will get bail, what's going on with the Rico case. We'll get a quick update, full comment afterwards. Appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Let's go. No judge signed off on the on the um warrant for the um rental car. There you go. Okay, so what did they? Well, last I knew, they had an informant telling them about the rental car and the payment to the hitters. It's like Some niggas shooter snitching. They had a, they had an informant that was that told them um they overheard Thug or went with Thug to get the car and overheard conversation and was with Thug when. They met somebody at a condo to get payment. That's I can't find. He just closed the door. Man. I mean, I'm not like so I don't. You know, I, like that. I hear you, but was that part of the proper thing? I don't know, but it's one of his man. They said his name and all. I'm a nigga got out. That's the one. Little, 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 little somewhere got out. So all right, um, and then let's just say that goes away. Their investigation over 10 years ain't just on one body. But I did hear that they named it snitched and said, uh, I went with Thug to get this front of car, this color, this type of car. Mm -hmm. And then I was there with Thug when he got the call and they said, we at the gas station is done or whatever. And then I was with him at the condo when they came to get paid. Mm -hmm. so, I, that, I remember that that story was hella big in the media. I do remember yeah, that. I don't, that's in yeah, I don't already. know. You're chilling with the answer. You no, know, that's you know. I don't know how I need to get around that. What, what, what's right in the background? You said that's who? You ain't getting around that. That's boy. that's in prison already. What's his name? They said Lil Woody. Why they said Lil Woody. Woody. Lil Woody. So my thing is, if if dude then gave up that statement, how you strike that? That's real. Mm. Well, you know how you. And then once again, remember, thugs arrest ain't on one body; it's on organized crime. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. And and see yeah, what yeah, 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 on a bell or something the like body, that. You never know because he got way too much. Well, see, My the bell was see the he ain't, he'll never get another bail hearing because the judge stated, as much as I want to afford him bail some of the people that's on the rico act have already proffered and gang members mm -hmm. on the streets have proffered and everybody says they're in fear of their life from him from him ah. his homies tattooed and these say this is where we are have started to snitch cooperate and everybody's saying if y'all let him out we in fear of our life so based upon that for the people they not gonna let him out. Keep him in there. Bail. And I know, see, know he got see, money. He got. See, they know, not working against him. Money. His own is working against him right now. But bro, you gotta remember, nowhere in the history, mafia, Italian mafia, no other movement, had twenty eight people ever been arrested. They gonna turn. They people turn. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's nowhere in the history where you are gonna have that many people arrested. <laughs> They ain't gonna start cooperating. Bro. Hey, right. let these mob ties. Let seven or eight of these mob ties get lined up in cuffs and watch what happens. You chilling with the answer. They call me. Ooh, see. Feds already called me. I recorded the feds and put it up and exposed. They called me about the nigga and warned the nigga. They oh, own. And they was trying. Well, he didn't. He threaten you. Nope. Nope. That's what they. <laughs> Now, hell no, that's what the fans want me to say. Nope, nigga ain't never threatened me. He a businessman like myself. Huh? Yeah. Yep. I told him he ain't said nothing to me that I ain't said nothing to him. Now, nah, nigga, she take that fine. to the court. Take and that to the courtroom that. against the nigga. That right. really mean that somebody snitching. Oh, yeah, somebody in there. Somebody's already in every organization, bro. Some. Every organization, he says, somebody in there, they're going to get caught. Something going to happen. There's too many motherfuckers, huh?
He wouldn't, uh, and you fight, fight back, fight back, big homie. <laughs> but shit, man. That's why I'd rather say, fuck yeah, and I'll rock with my homie, homies. Big uh, B. Oh. Yo. Oh, you but you know, ain't hey. there anything that can happen for Thug in his favor? I hope it happens. You know, that's yeah, my definitely. people. Real quick, here's some audio from the latest uh, court hearing. Let you know the latest and greatest on that. As you know, a lot of people have proffered out. They already got the testimony about the vehicle being used in a particular incident and that Thug's name was on the receipt for the rental, which is kind of crazy. And um, so let's get into that real quick. In the Superior Court of Wilson County, State of Georgia, State of Georgia versus Jeffrey William, defendant indictment number 22SC183572, Judge Glanville. Mr. Williams' motion to dismiss indictment and or motion to suppress evidence and derivative evidence based upon prosecutorial misconduct and abuse of grand jury powers comes now, Mr. Jeffrey Williams, by and through undesigned counsel and hereby files this motion to dismiss indictment and or motion to suppress evidence and derivative evidence based upon prosecutorial misconduct and abuse of grand jury powers in the above reference case in support of this motion to dismiss mr williams shows as follows one mr williams is innocent of all charges in the above reference case two on or about April 8, 2016, the District Attorney's Office of Fulton County abused its authority by utilizing a sham grand jury subpoena and issuing same to the Hertz Corporation for rental record information relating to Mr. Jeffrey Williams. This supposed grand jury subpoena was not issued or authorized by any judge clerk of court or lawfully or properly impaneled grand jury. Instead, the District Attorney's Office affix their own seal on the document creating the false impression that a properly impaneled grand jury had issued an official edict compelling the Hertz Corporation to comply with the demand to produce records. The district attorney's office engaged in egregious misconduct and blatant misrepresentations under the force and power of the court. Hey, I'll go live about this. Did you hear all that? You're chilling with the answer. Yeah, so they pretty much saying that uh, they forged the seal, the grand jury seal. They forged to get the subpoena to go ahead and do what they had to do. So they basically forged that whole document, and uh, that's how they were able to go ahead and get the subpoena. Okay, so what they're gonna do is this, right? This is how they're gonna come. That that document allowed them to get the the rental car receipts, right? Yeah, the subpoena to go do everything like that. So what they're gonna do? They're going to walk away from that, and they're going to use his homeboy statements to, co to, to continue on with the charges. I was about to say, they're not going to wipe out his homeboy statement. No, no, they, 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 they ain't wiping them out. Lot for that. You think he you get a bell now, though? They're going to use his homeboy statements to continue the charge. You know what I'm saying? Did, That's what they're going to use on him next. Is it possible for him to get a bell now, though? Because since they have the misconduct? No, nah, his bell is revoked based on an overall recall. Yeah, because Bella, he ain't in there for no murder, bro. That that's not his only charge. He's in there for organized yeah. crime. Yeah, from 2012 to 2022, a ten year thing, right? They so took it back. His, yeah, his bail is based on 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 the overall RICO. Well, there it is, man. We got a lot going on, man. The the Jay Prince thing is definitely leading the headlines, as we know. With Migos take off that tragedy. But can't forget about Thugger and what's going on with him. It all ties in in terms of the spotlight being on the hip-hop industry in general. So like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Until next time, it's the answer. It's your boy. We out. Catch me on Clubhouse, though. And appreciate the support.